Well, when the pain to remain the same is greater than the pain to change, then you will change. I repeat, when the pain to remain the same is greater than the pain to change, you will change. You will change your habits. You will change your behavior. You will change the things in your life which you don't want. You know, if you aren't liking something in your life currently, that is in your business, in your job, in your career, in your relationships, and you are feeling uncomfortable at this point in time. If you are uncomfortable with your present situation and you feel there is too much pain in that business, too much pain in that job, too much pain in that relationship, too much pain in that love relationship, you are going through a lot of pain with your health, then you will change. Because when the pain is greater in status quo, when the pain is greater where you are currently and as I just told you all, when the pain to remain the same is greater than the pain to change, you will change. And let me tell you that change is inevitable. Everything must change. Nothing remains the same. No situation, no person, no locality, no area of this world remains the same. There will be some sort of change every time on this planet Earth. The reason for this is because this is an ever-evolving world. You are also a product of change. You know, if you aren't liking the results in your life, then you will have to change because they are your results. If you are gonna change, you are gonna find something about yourself that is not serving the purpose of your life that is not serving your current situation. Hence, when the pain to remain the same is greater than the pain to change, you will change. Well, that is exactly what you have to do at this point in time. If you are not liking your current situation, if you are not liking your current circumstances, and if you are not liking something, then that change must come. And that change can only come through you. Things will never change by chance. You will have to make a conscious, deliberate and a determined effort to change in your life and only then you will see the changes. You'll have to take massive action in your life if you want to change. You know, you can't change the seasons, but you can change yourself. And see, that's how life gets better for you. Not by chance, but by change. Well, this is what is gonna happen when Ketu is in the Swati Nakshatra. You know, on the 17th of October 2022, Ketu has moved into the Swati Nakshatra. You know, the Swati Nakshatra is ruled by the planet Rahu, the shadowy planet Rahu. And Ketu is also a part of Rahu, the lower half of Rahu. Rahu is called the North Lunar Node and Ketu is called the South Lunar Node. And Ketu at this point in time will be fully influenced by the planet Rahu. I mean the shadowy planet Rahu. Ketu is gonna be under the influence of the Swati Nakshatra from 17th of October 2022 until 26th of June 2023. So Ketu is gonna be impacted by the Swati Nakshatra for more than 8 months. Well Ketu represents isolation, separation. Ketu represents spirituality, it represents the outer world, it represents the mystical world, it also represents your sun, it represents your intuition, it represents your research abilities, it represents your curious nature. And the Swati Nakshatra is a Nakshatra of independence, fair play, justice and business people. And Ketu at this point in time is in the Swati Nakshatra and in the sign of Libra. Libra is the seventh sign of the zodiac belt and seventh house relates to marriage, business, partnerships, relations, marketplace and your regular income. So at this point in time Ketu in Swati Nakshatra is gonna affect all these areas of your life and more depending in which house of your horoscope this particular Ketu is transiting. 
So according to where the Ketu is situated in your horoscope, you will get the results. Well, if Ketu is situated in the second house, you could see some changes in your family. You could see some dramatic changes in your family at this point in time. You could get separated from your family at this point in time or any of your family members can get separated from you. Ketu in the second house will also create some distance between you and your wealth at this point in time. You might be having all the money, all the wealth, all the richness in your life. But at this point in time, these things will not attract you. They will not please you. They will not make you happy. You would like to stay aloof from all these things. I mean your family, your wealth, your materialistic things. Ketu transiting in the second house also means that you will try to control your anger at this point in time. You will try to control your speech at this point in time. You will try to remain discreet at this point in time. You would try to behave diplomatically with your family at this point in time. Because you would feel that you don't want to get into any sort of argument with your family at this point in time. Or as a matter of fact, with anyone. You'd be basically looking for peace and calmness at this point in time. Well, seeing the planetary positions and Ketu in Swati Nakshatra. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell y'all something today. I want to tell y'all that at this point in time, you'd become lonely in your life. You'd feel that there is no one in your life for you. You'd feel that the best way to move forward in your life is to move forward alone. In spite of you having all the relationships in your life, you'd feel lonely at this point in time. A distance would be created between you and your relationships at this point in time because you'd find yourself getting disturbed by them at this point in time and hence you'll try to maintain a distance between you and your relationships. You will feel a major sense of loneliness in your life at this point in time. And when you are lonely, remember, you are getting stronger. Well, you'd like some privacy in your life at this point in time. You would want to remain aloof at this point in time. You would want to remain separated from all those relationships in your life at this point in time. I'm not saying that you'll give up all the responsibilities at this point in time. All I'm saying that you will yearn for some moments where you want to remain aloof from all your relationships, all the worldly things of this world. You wouldn't enjoy the materialistic things of the world at this point in time. Even if you have everything in abundance, even if you have every comfort in your life, even if you have all the great things of this world, you wouldn't be enjoying them at this point in time because you wouldn't be finding any value in them for you at this point in time. You would want to remain connected to you or God at this point in time because religion and spirituality is gonna connect you with your true self. You'll understand that time is passing and there is too little time for you on this planet earth. Hence, you will try to hurry things in matters of religion and spirituality. You will try to help the poor, the needy at this point in time. You'd want to help the poor with your money. You'd want to help the poor with your time because you'll think that your money and wealth needs to be shared so that the others can benefit from your money and wealth. So these are the feelings which you can experience at this point in time. You'd want to stand alone at this point in time. You would like to fight your own battles at this point in time. You wouldn't like to take help from anyone at this point in time. But I'd suggest y'all, I'd advise y'all to take help from others at this point in time. Not because you are weak, but because you want to remain strong. Hence, you need to take that help at this point in time in spite of you not wanting to take that help. You know, you'll want to fight that battle in your life alone at this point in time because you'd feel that those battles are yours. You'd be believing in yourself at this point in time when Ketu is in the Swati Nakshatra. Ketu in Swati Nakshatra is all about you, your life, your personal life, your inner feelings, your mind, your heart. 
you'd realize at this point in time that you have come alone in this world and you are gonna leave this planet alone which would encourage you to take decisions independently you wouldn't like to take suggestions and advices from others at this point in time you'd be completely detached from the material things of this world you know detachment is not that you own nothing detachment is nothing owns you don't get attached to the things which you have the greatest detachment is remaining close to everything and not let those things consume you own you and when you don't let those things around you consume you own you that's the real power you have that's the real strength you have in spite of having everything in this world when you are not consumed by that you are not owned by that that speaks volumes about the power the strength you have in you well at this point in time when ketu is in the swati nakshatra you wouldn't be bothered about the results you wouldn't be bothered about the consequences that means you'd be willing to take risks in your life at this point in time and you would give your best effort at this point in time in other words you are going to make a do or die attempt at this point in time in whatever you are doing in your life i mean in your career you know when you have this attitude where you say that i'll do or die the world has a strange way of stepping aside you know when you say that you'll climb the mountain in spite of the people telling you that it is too high it is too dangerous it is too far it is too steep and still you go ahead and climb that mountain you'll soon see yourself waving from that mountain or you'd be dead on the side because that attitude of yours do or die will tell you that you ain't coming back you are not retreating it means that you've just taken a one way ticket to your destination and you are not gonna return you'd be making a serious attempt in your life at this point in time to achieve and accomplish the things at this point in time and you are going to give your best try at this point in time you are going to try something with what you know at this point in time what you are familiar with at this point in time you know you never be able to know something which you can do or not until and unless you try so trying is everything in your life i'd say that you'd be trying and trying and trying until you succeed at this point in time you know you will never be able to know whether you'll be a winner or not without trying the other thing is that you need to be committed to trying at this point in time when ketu is in the swati nakshatra you know in the final chapter of your book i mean of your life let it show your wins and losses but don't let it show that you didn't try you didn't play the game but at this point in time ketu in swati nakshatra is going to give you the determination and the strength to try at this point in time and i am certain that you'll be successful at whatever you are doing at this point in time because you'd be more than willing to take risks in your life at this point in time you know if you aren't willing to take risks in your life then you can't grow in your life and if you can't grow in your life you can't become your best in your life and if you can't become your best in your life then you can't remain happy in your life and if you can't remain happy in your life then what else is there after all all of us in this world want to remain happy so at this point in time when you take risks in your life in whatever you are doing you are going to get some positive results from that well this is all i wanted to tell you all about ketu in swati nakshatra if you want some specific predictions about yourself then you may contact me directly well like i always say that if you wish to know your future through astrology and you are determined to live the best possible version of yourself well one must always try to live his or her best version of themselves because there is only one life to live there are no duplicates of a life you will not get a chance to live this beautiful life once again 
And if you want to enhance your luck in your life, if you want to boost your luck in your life, if you want to increase and improve your luck in your life, then I want to tell you all, I have several remedies for you. You know, these remedies which I'm talking about are a fusion of astrological remedies, vastu remedies and religious remedies which can be utilized by any person of any religion. And if you want me to pray for you, because prayer can move mountains. So if you want me to pray for your health, wealth, success, money, business, career, job, relationships, love relationships, education, marriage, married life, children, property, etc, 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 then also you may contact me. And you may also contact me for a vastu visit of your flat, office, residence or factory. And if you are hell-bent on taking your life from the ridiculous to the sublime, from the low point to the high point, from nothing to something, then you may contact me over WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number has been given on this video. Have a great day and a great life ahead. God bless you all. Jai Matadi. Jai Ma Kali.